Dear Heavenly Father, as the dawn breaks and the world awakens to a new day, I humbly come before your throne of grace. Thank you for the precious gift of life and the countless blessings that grace my journey each day. In the stillness of this morning hour, I lift my voice in gratitude and praise. Your faithfulness endures through every season of my life, and your mercies are renewed each morning. Despite my failings and shortcomings, you continue to pour out your love upon me without measure. Leave a like for this video and share it at least one time to help us reach more people. Spread the gospel and change more lives comment using the word Amen. In the face of whatever you're dealing with today, God wants you to know that your help comes directly from Him, the Creator of heaven and earth. We're about to embark on a heartfelt prayer together, calling on God for divine protection and abundant blessings in the name of Jesus. Stay with us until the end, open your heart, and be ready to receive the uplifting power of this prayer. As I embark on this new day, I seek your guidance and wisdom to navigate the paths ahead. Open my eyes to see opportunities to serve and bless others, to be a beacon of your light in a world often darkened by fear and uncertainty. Strengthen my faith so that I may walk confidently in your promises, trusting in your provision and leading. Father, I surrender my plans and desires to your divine will, knowing that your plans for me are good and filled with hope. Help me align my heart with your purposes, to seek first your kingdom and righteousness in all that I do. Lord, I also lift up my loved ones before you, asking for your abundant blessings to be poured out upon them. May your hand of protection be upon them, shielding them from harm and guiding them along paths of righteousness. Thank you, Father, for your unending love that knows no bounds. I ask for your continued presence to go with me throughout this day, guiding my steps, protecting me from harm, and filling me with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Psalm 37 verse 3 to 4 said, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. To you, Father, I give all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Father, your word in Psalm 18 verse 1 to 6 says, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me, the torrents of destruction overwhelmed me, the cords of the grave coiled around me, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called to the Lord, I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice, my cry came before him into his ears. Emotions are incredibly powerful. I've seen people so happy that their faces were covered in tears of joy. I've also seen people so distraught and filled with sorrow that they couldn't string together two words. Others become so inspired and motivated that they work day and night tirelessly to achieve something significant. I once read a powerful quote from Billy Graham, who said that 75% of patients in hospitals would be made whole if they would only forgive. Think about that. Some people hold on to negative emotions for so long that these emotions eventually manifest as physical sickness. Proverbs 14 verse 30 says, A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. Envy is a feeling of jealousy and resentment, and the Bible tells us that it has a physical, external result. Hebrews 12 verse 14 to 15 says, Pursue peace with all people, and holiness without which no one will see the Lord looking carefully lest anyone fall short of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble, and by this many become defiled. Notice that this verse warns us to be cautious of the root of bitterness, not just the bitterness itself. The root of a plant is not visible to the naked eye. We may only become aware of a seed when we see its fruit. So when the Bible says, see to it that no root of bitterness springs up, it means that bitterness is so destructive that it needs to be uprooted as soon as the seed germinates. The Bible is urging us not to wait until we see the fruit of bitterness, but to cut it off at the root immediately. Dear friends, I'm aware that in this life, we all experience unpleasant emotions at one point or another. We endure the pain of betrayal, heartache, and loss. 
We might suffer maltreatment and injustice, but my message to you is this. Learn to forgive. Learn to let go. Don't hold on to negativity. Pray for the Lord to heal your wounds and mend your broken heart. Strive to be someone who doesn't repay evil with evil, but instead mirrors the love of Christ by repaying evil with good. I encourage you to ask God for the strength to forgive and move on. Don't live a life imprisoned by toxic emotions. Jesus Christ offers you peace, joy and victory, no matter what others do to you. In Jesus, you can have freedom and life more abundantly. Now let us pray. Dear Lord, I pray for your grace to be upon us. Someone listening has been betrayed, and I ask that you heal them, Lord. Let them know that you will never abandon them, that you will never turn your back on them. Someone has been hurt by cruel words, and I pray that your healing hand mends every heart and ear that has received such words. Help us to forgive so there is no bitterness, malice, jealousy, or hate in our hearts. Instead, Lord Jesus, heal every wound inflicted by our enemies, friends, or even loved ones. Make us whole and fill our hearts with love. Teach us to live by your word, which tells us to love our neighbors. Give us the grace, Lord Jesus, to live and love according to 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 to 8, which says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Grant us this kind of love in our hearts, Jesus, so that when others do evil to us, we can respond with love. When others speak negatively about us and to us, give us great grace so that we may love them regardless of what they say. I pray for everyone listening, Lord Jesus. Would you please heal every wound of betrayal? For the person who feels rejected and unwanted, I pray that you would heal every wound inflicted by the actions of others. Heal every ear that has heard cruel words spoken against them. To those who feel low, Lord Jesus, I pray that you would lift up their spirits. For those who are sad and have heavy hearts, remove their burdens, Lord Jesus. Father, uproot every root of bitterness and resentment in our hearts. Uproot every memory linked to negative and toxic emotions. Help us to let go. Give us the strength to practice forgiveness and the grace to practice real love in our lives. Your word in Romans 12 verse 9 to 12 says, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervour, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Help us to do this, Lord. Help us to love sincerely, to cling to what is good, and to hate what is evil. Help us to be devoted to each other in love. I thank you for listening to this prayer. May the blood of Jesus Christ cover us. Amen. Remember, a heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. Look carefully lest anyone fall short of the grace of God. Let no root of bitterness spring up to cause trouble and defile many. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy, does not parade itself is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverance. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me, the torments of destruction overwhelmed me, the cords of the grave coiled around me, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called to the Lord, I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice, my cry came before him, into his ears. 
We've all faced uncertainty at some point in our lives, and we find ourselves in one of two camps. The camp of fear, anxiety, stress and worry, or the camp that trusts in the Lord and his promises. In today's world, with all the current affairs and uncertainties surrounding us, it's easy to fall into worry and anxiety. There's uncertainty in the economy, in world peace, and in so many other areas. But here's what the Bible tells us in Matthew 6, verse 31 to 34. Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. When uncertainty arises, remember that God is in control and Jesus Christ is with you. If he is with you, who can be against you? Though we may not know what tomorrow holds, we know who holds tomorrow. Though we may not know the threats, enemies or problems we'll face in the future, Jesus Christ is and always will be our provider and protector. Trust in the God who knows all things, who orchestrates everything, and who has planned it all for your good in the end. Hold on to Psalm 91 verse 14 to 15. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. So when uncertainty comes your way, trust in the Almighty, the Omniscient One, who already knows the uncertainties of your life and has a plan for your good. Remember that Jesus Christ is watching over you. He is the one who guides you, and our God will lift you up when you fall. He will preserve you during times of uncertainty, keeping you in his loving arms and giving his angels charge over you for protection. Now, let us pray together to the Lord. Dear Father, I pray for every person wrestling with worry and anxiety stemming from uncertainty. May the Holy Spirit impress upon their spirits the need, safety, and security found in trusting in Jesus Christ. Remind them that the watchful eye of our Lord Jesus Christ is upon them, and the hand of the Almighty God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, is on their life. I pray for every person under the sound of my voice, everyone wondering what the future holds for them. Holy Spirit, grant them strength, understanding, knowledge and power. Above all, grant them peace of mind, reminding them that God is good all the time. May the light of the Lord surround them, overwhelming them with his love and protecting them with his power. Help them to know that wherever they are, God's presence can be found. Lord, guard them with your presence. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in agreement with everyone listening. Regardless of circumstances, our certainty is in Jesus Christ. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. Regardless of everything happening around us, our faith is in Jesus Christ. Lord, you are still in control, still on your throne, and still a good God who will never leave us nor forsake us. Psalm 94 verse 19 says, In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comforts delight my soul. In the midst of any uncertain circumstance, Lord, you are still God, the one who makes a way where there seems to be no way. When we are surrounded by the enemy, you are the God who delivers. Should we find ourselves in a multitude of problems, we'll call on the name that is above every other name, the beautiful name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we trust in you to make a way where there seems to be no way. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to split the sea of uncertainty and speak the words, Peace, be still, during this storm we face. Now we trust in you to be the solution, the chain breaker, the way out for whatever comes against us. As I pray in agreement with everyone listening, I ask that you give us the strength not just to stand, but to stand strong, unwavering in faith. Lord, be with us as we walk by faith and not by sight. Give us the strength to hold on to the one and only Saviour, Jesus Christ. You alone, God, are our rock and our refuge, so we run to you. I pray for everyone listening who may be uncertain about what to do next, who may not know where to go or how to handle what's in front of them. Lord, grant them wisdom and clarity of mind, 
For the one who may be afraid about what tomorrow holds for them or their family, I pray that they may know your word, which says in Isaiah 43 verse 1, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. May we come to know this truth, that we are redeemed and called by you, and you hold tomorrow in your hands. God, we thank you that you've got the whole world in your hands, that you've got us all in your hands. Thank you for hearing this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray and give thanks. Amen. In the Bible, the prophets of old and biblical writers were inspired by the Holy Spirit numerous times to utter the words, Thus says the Lord. However, I personally believe that God still speaks even today. The Lord communicates with people in various ways, including through the Holy Spirit and His Word. Perhaps you've experienced moments when you open the Bible and a verse leaps off the page ministering to you. From a biblical standpoint, God is not confined to a single manner of communicating with His people. For example, in Job 38 verse 1, the Lord answered Job out of a whirlwind. In Exodus 19:18, God announced His presence to Moses in an extraordinary way, with Mount Sinai covered in smoke and trembling violently. In 1 Kings 19 verse 12, Elijah encounters the Lord, and after the earthquake and fire, God speaks in a still, small voice. This demonstrates that God can speak in gentle and peaceful ways, not always accompanied by dramatic revelations. Another way God speaks is by making an impression on our spirit. Acts 17 verse 16 and 18 verse 5 illustrate this, where Paul's spirit was provoked and compelled by the Holy Spirit to take action. Romans 8 verse 16 further explains this, stating that the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. This gives us insight into some of the ways God speaks. It's important to remember that the Lord is not limited in how he communicates. However, in this day and age, I believe God most commonly speaks to us through his word. The more we study and learn it, the better we can recognize his voice when he speaks. Understanding the role of the Holy Spirit is vital for hearing from the Lord clearly and discerning his voice. So, I encourage you to make it your prayer request that you may hear the voice of the Lord more clearly from this day forward. Dear Lord, together with everyone listening, we are here, believing and waiting patiently, expectantly, to hear your voice speak to us. Lord Jesus, speak to our hearts, speak through your word, and give us direction, encouragement and clarity. Remove every cloud of confusion from our lives. Speak to us collectively as believers, but also speak to us individually, O God Almighty. Father, give us a word for our families. Your word in John 10 verse 27 to 28 says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. We desire to hear your voice, Lord Jesus, for in your voice there is life-giving power, peace and joy. Open our ears, Master, and let us be a people quick to hear your word and your voice. Help us seek and search for your voice when we need guidance and direction. May the Holy Spirit be the loudest voice in our lives, convicting us to repentance, pushing us to the word of God, and reminding us of our need for Jesus Christ daily. Speak to us in our hearts, O God, concerning your will and plan for our lives. Drown out the voice of the enemy and the father of lies. May the Holy Spirit be the voice that counsels, teaches and guides us. Your word declares that your sheep hear your voice and we are your sheep, following you, the Good Shepherd. We will listen and obey your voice, Lord, for only you can make us lie down in green pastures and only you can lead us beside still waters. Your voice restores our souls and leads us in the paths of righteousness. Your word says in Matthew 7 verse 24, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Father God, give us the grace to not just be hearers of the word, but doers also. Help us to put aside all our selfish cares and ambitions so that we can put your word into practice. Holy Spirit, change our hearts, challenge us to live out the word of God in our day-to-day -day lives. King Jesus, we bless your name. May you rule and reign over our lives forever. Thank you for hearing this prayer, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
The Bible says in Revelation 3, verse 2 to 3, Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my God. Remember, therefore, what you have received and heard. Hold it fast and repent. But if you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what time I will come to you. The Bible is calling us to wake up. The Lord wants us to awaken to the reality of heaven and hell to the truth of Judgment Day. Just as someone driving might miss road signs if they doze off, we might miss the signs God has given us if we're spiritually asleep. These signs tell us that time on this earth is limited. And that's good news. Heaven, from what I've read, seems to be a place of unparalleled joy and peace. To be in the presence of the Lord for eternity, free from the trials of this world, is something to look forward to. Jesus himself promised to prepare a place for us in his Father's house. It's reassuring to know that God will one day put an end to wickedness and restore us to our heavenly homes. Until that day comes, God has given us signs to alert us to the nearness of the end times. People may arise claiming to be Christ, but we're warned not to be deceived. When Jesus returns, there will be no need for announcements or videos. His glorious appearance will be unmistakable to all. Let's stay awake, aware of God's signs, and ready for his return. Luke 21 verse 9 reminds us not to be terrified when we hear of wars and commotions because these things must happen before the end comes. The wise among us will be watchful, recognizing the signs of the times because they study God's word. But the foolish will fall asleep, missing the signs due to a lack of knowledge. Let's pray for wisdom, seeking to be spirit-filled and spirit-led in these times. Father, you are great and mighty, worthy to be praised. Grant us wisdom and understanding as we study your word, so we can discern the truth and recognize the signs of your return. Help us not to be led astray by false prophets or deceptive teachings. Protect our hearts from being swayed by watered-down versions of the gospel. We desire the full truth that calls us to repentance and to follow you wholeheartedly. As lawlessness increases and the love of many grows cold, let our love for you and others remain strong. May our hearts be sensitive to your voice and our lives reflect your righteousness. Help us endure to the end, standing firm in faith and proclaiming the gospel to all nations. Keep us pure and upright by the power of your Holy Spirit amidst the prevalence of sin in this world. Psalm 25 verse 20 to 21 reminds us to seek God's protection, deliverance and preservation of our integrity and uprightness. Let's pray for strength to uphold integrity in this lawless world, resisting temptation and staying watchful for the return of Christ. Lord, we ask for your protection and deliverance, guarding our souls and preserving us from shame as we take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness be our guiding principles, keeping us steadfast in righteousness amidst the sin and filth of this world. Strengthen us to stand firm for what is right, even when faced with temptation or pressure to compromise. When we are tempted, Lord, provide us with a way of escape, as your word promises. Help us to resist temptation and endure through your strength. Keep our hearts focused on the blessed hope of your return, Lord, so that we may always be watchful and ready for that glorious day. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers and for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. Seeking God daily is essential for nurturing our relationship with him and growing in spiritual understanding. Just as the Israelites relied on God's provision of manna in the wilderness, we too must look to God daily for sustenance and guidance. Let's explore the significance of seeking God daily and how it shapes our relationship with him. In Matthew 6 verse 11, Jesus teaches us to pray for our daily bread, highlighting our ongoing dependence on God for our physical needs. The Israelites' experience with manna underscores the importance of seeking God's provision each day, trusting in his faithfulness to provide exactly what we need. Moreover, Jesus encourages us not to worry about tomorrow, but to focus on seeking God and trusting him for each day's challenges. By prioritizing daily seeking of God, we cultivate a mindset of trust and reliance on his wisdom and guidance, rather than being consumed by anxiety about the future. Seeking God daily involves more than just asking for physical provision. 
It encompasses seeking His presence, wisdom, and will in our lives. Through prayer, meditation on Scripture, and communion with God, we open ourselves to His leading and direction. Just as the Israelites were instructed to gather manna daily, we are called to approach God regularly, not just in times of crisis, but as a consistent practice of faith. By seeking God daily, we align our hearts with His purposes and deepen our intimacy with Him. We acknowledge our dependence on Him for all aspects of life and entrust our cares and concerns into His faithful hands. In this way, seeking God becomes a transformative journey of spiritual growth and renewal, shaping us into individuals who walk closely with Him each day. Let's embrace the invitation to seek God daily, knowing that He delights in our pursuit of Him and promises to meet us with His presence and provision in every moment of our lives. Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, it speaks of how the Lord's love never fades and His mercies are always there, fresh each morning. That's something to hold on to, isn't it? Every day, His faithfulness shines through, giving us just what we need to make it through. Why fret about life's troubles when every morning God gifts us with a new dose of mercy? It's there waiting for us when we seek Him. So, let's take a moment to pray. Dear Jesus, we offer you our hearts, overflowing with gratitude and love. We entrust ourselves to your care and mercy, knowing you're with us every step of the way. You are our rock, our protector, and our provider, Jesus. We're so grateful for your constant presence and your unwavering love. In every circumstance, we choose to trust you, knowing that your plans for us are filled with purpose and hope. As we start this day, let's echo the words of Psalm 3 verse 1 to 2, blessing the Lord with all our being. We praise you, God, for your forgiveness, your healing touch, and your endless grace. You've rescued us from despair and showered us with kindness. Your name will be on our lips as long as we live. Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with praise, whether the sun is shining or the storm clouds gather. You alone, Jesus, can satisfy our souls and renew our spirits. In your presence we find wholeness and peace. Like a deer thirsts for water, our souls long for you, O God. You are the source of life, the one who brings transformation. Today and always we lift our voices in worship, for you are worthy of all our praise. Your presence has the power to revive and rejuvenate us, Father. Ignite within us a burning passion to pursue holiness and live according to your ways. We welcome your presence into our lives, Lord, where your love and mercy reign supreme. Be our sanctuary, our safe haven, where we find refuge in you. We lift up your precious name in praise, Lord, knowing that you hear our prayers. Amen. Provide for us, Lord, each day just as you promised to Moses, raining down bread from heaven. Teach us to rely on you for our daily sustenance, trusting in your provision and guidance. As it is written, do not worry about tomorrow, for each day has enough trouble of its own. Your love, Lord, knows no end, and your mercies are new every morning. We bless you, O my soul, and all that is within me, for your faithfulness endures forever. Heavenly Father, as I bow before you in prayer, I am humbled by your greatness and overwhelmed by your love. You are the creator of the universe, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. In your hands all things hold together, and in your presence I find peace and solace. Lord, I come to you with a heart full of gratitude. Thank you for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me, both seen and unseen. Thank you for the gift of life, for the air that I breathe, and for the love that surrounds me each day. Your goodness knows no bounds, and I am forever grateful for your faithfulness. In this moment of prayer, I lay before you my hopes and dreams, my fears and uncertainties. You know the desires of my heart better than I do, and I trust in your perfect plan for my life. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow where you lead. Lord, I lift up to you my loved ones both near and far. Surround them with your love and protection, and may your peace be upon them always. Heal the brokenhearted, comfort the grieving, and restore those who are lost. Let your light shine brightly in their lives, guiding them along the path of righteousness. Father, I pray for our world, which is filled with pain and suffering. Heal the sick, feed the hungry, and shelter the homeless. 
bring an end to violence and injustice, and may your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, I confess my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Help me to turn away from temptation and to walk in obedience to your word. Fill me with your Holy Spirit, that I may bear fruit worthy of your name. Finally, Lord, I surrender all that I am into your loving hands. Take my life and use it for your glory, for I am yours, now and forevermore. Guide me, protect me, and lead me in the way everlasting. May my life be a living testimony to your goodness and grace. Divine Creator, in the stillness of this moment, I come before you with a heart open and ready to receive your presence. You are the source of all life, the one who knows me intimately and loves me unconditionally. As I lift my voice in prayer, I am filled with awe and wonder at your majesty. Lord, I thank you for the gift of today, for the opportunity to experience your grace and mercy anew. With each breath I take, I am reminded of your faithfulness and your unfailing love. Help me to live this day with purpose and intention, seeking to glorify you in all that I do. Father, I confess my shortcomings and failures before you. Forgive me for the times when I have fallen short of your perfect standards and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Help me to walk in obedience to your will, following the path of righteousness that leads to life. Lord, I lift up to you the needs of those around me. Hear the cries of the brokenhearted and the oppressed and bring healing and restoration to their lives. Comfort those who are grieving, strengthen those who are weak and provide for those who are in need. May your love be a beacon of hope in their darkest hour. I pray for our world, Lord, which is in desperate need of your peace and reconciliation. Heal the wounds of division and strife and unite us in love and harmony. Give wisdom to our leaders that they may govern with justice and compassion. Protect the vulnerable, uphold the cause of the oppressed and bring an end to violence and injustice. Lord, I surrender my plans and ambitions into your hands, trusting that your ways are higher than my ways and your thoughts higher than my thoughts. Guide me by your spirit that I may walk in step with your purposes and fulfill the destiny you have ordained for me. Help me to live a life that is pleasing to you, bearing fruit that will last for eternity. Finally, Lord, I lift up my voice in praise and adoration. You alone are worthy of all honour and glory, for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. I exalt your holy name and magnify your goodness and grace. May my life be a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you, as I worship you with all my heart, soul, mind and strength. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today I want to remind you that time is precious and fleeting. You live in the present. Yesterday is gone and tomorrow isn't promised. So, what better moment than now to reconnect with God? What better time than now to accept Jesus Christ as your Saviour? Let me share a passage from Psalm 39, where David speaks about the importance of time and life. I said, I will guard my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. I will restrain my mouth with a muzzle, while the wicked are before me. I was mute with silence. I held my peace even from good and my sorrow was stirred up. My heart was hot within me. While I was musing, the fire burned. Then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, make me to know my end, and what is the measure of my days that I may know how frail I am. David reminds us that our days are brief, like a hand's breadth, and our lives are like a passing vapor. Everything we strive for in this world can feel futile. Therefore, why wait? Our hope should be in God. We should ask for deliverance from our wrongdoings and seek strength in Him. This is the moment to turn to Jesus Christ, to live for Him, and to seek His presence with all our hearts. He is knocking at the door of your heart. Perhaps you've been distracted by work, money, or relationships. They seem important now, but in the end, they are fleeting. What truly matters is preparing our hearts for eternity. We often think we have time, but life is short and uncertain. If Jesus returned today, would you be ready? Would your heart be set on Him? 
Today is the day to place your faith in Jesus. If you hear his voice today, don't harden your heart. Instead, let him come in and transform your life forever. Now let us pray. Father, your word in James 4 verse 14 reminds us that our lives on earth are fleeting, like a vapor that appears briefly and then vanishes. This sobering truth reminds us of the brevity of our time here. Lord Jesus, right now we come to you and hold on to you, knowing that salvation and eternal life are found only in you. Help us, Lord, to live our lives for your glory. Give us hearts that are eager to obey your will and follow your commands. I yearn to be an effective Christian, sharing the incredible love of Jesus with passion. Father, grant us hearts that are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit and to your voice, Jesus. Help us to distinguish between good and evil, tuning out the voices of this world. As the world drifts further from you, draw us closer to you each day, Father. Give us the wisdom to recognize when Satan tries to deceive us and lead us astray. Protect us from backsliding and compromise in our faith. Help us remain faithful until the day of your return. Lord, open our hearts to recognize your hand in every aspect of our lives. According to Ezekiel 36 verse 26 to 27, give us new hearts and spirits, filled with your spirit, so we may walk in your ways and obey your commands. Holy Spirit, empower us to live holy lives and walk by faith. Help us release every sin, idol, and addiction that holds us back, and instead walk closely with Christ. Set our hearts on fire for your kingdom, Lord. Stir our spirits and awaken a hunger for you alone. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and awe, acknowledging your sovereignty and majesty over all creation. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and I worship you for your infinite wisdom and unfailing love. Lord, in this moment of prayer, I lift up my soul to you. You know my every thought, my every need, and my deepest desires. I surrender myself completely to your will, trusting in your perfect plan for my life. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. I thank you, Father, for the gift of life and for sustaining me each day. You have blessed me abundantly with family, friends, and opportunities to serve you. Help me to be a faithful steward of all that you have entrusted to me, using every talent and resource for your glory. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have fallen short. I confess my sins before you and ask for your mercy and cleansing. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. May your grace abound in my life, empowering me to walk in righteousness and obedience to your word. Father, I intercede for those who are suffering and in need. Comfort the brokenhearted, heal the sick, and provide for the needy according to your riches in glory. Pour out your compassion and mercy upon all who are hurting, and use me as a vessel of your love and grace to bring light into their lives. I pray for our world, Lord, which is marred by sin and strife. Bring peace where there is conflict, unity where there is division, and healing where there is brokenness. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Bless your church, O God, and unite us in love and purpose. Strengthen pastors, leaders and missionaries as they proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth. Equip each believer with spiritual gifts to build up the body of Christ and to reach out to those who are lost. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your sacrifice on the cross, through which we have redemption and eternal life. Help me to live each day in light of your resurrection, sharing your love boldly and joyfully with others. Holy Spirit, guide me in wisdom and discernment. Lead me in paths of righteousness and empower me to live a life pleasing to you. Fill me afresh with your presence and fire that I may bear fruit that will last for eternity. I commit my future into your hands, knowing that you are faithful and true. Thank you for hearing my prayers and for the assurance that you are always with me. May my life be a reflection of your glory, shining brightly for all to see. Heavenly Father, I approach your throne of grace with humility and reverence, knowing that you are the almighty God who hears the cries of your children. You are the creator of heaven and earth, the sustainer of life, and the source of all goodness and mercy. I worship you, Father, for your greatness and faithfulness that endure forever. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. Your love for us is beyond measure, 
demonstrated by Christ's sacrificial death on the cross. I am grateful for the forgiveness of sins and the promise of eternal life that we have through faith in Jesus. Help me to live each day in grateful obedience to your will, glorifying your name in all that I do. Father, I lift up to you my loved ones, my family, friends, and all those dear to my heart. May your hand of protection be upon them, guarding them from harm and evil. Grant them health and strength, wisdom and discernment as they navigate through life's challenges. Draw each one closer to you, Lord, and surround them with your peace and presence. I pray for our leaders, both in government and in the church. Grant them wisdom and integrity as they make decisions that impact the lives of many. May they seek your guidance and honour you in their leadership roles, promoting justice, righteousness and compassion in our communities and nations. Lord, I intercede for those who are suffering physically, emotionally or spiritually. Bring healing and restoration to the sick and comfort to the grieving. Provide for the needs of the poor and oppressed and open doors of opportunity for those who are marginalised or overlooked. Help us, your church, to be instruments of your love and mercy in reaching out to the hurting and brokenhearted. Holy Spirit, fill me afresh with your power and presence. Guide my steps and illuminate my path with your truth. Grant me discernment to recognise your voice amidst the noise of this world and courage to follow wherever you lead. Strengthen my faith, Lord, that I may stand firm in the face of adversity and boldly proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, I surrender my fears, anxieties and uncertainties into your hands. You are my rock and my refuge, my strength and my shield. Help me to trust in your perfect timing and to rest in your unfailing love. Your plans for me are good, Lord, and I place my hope and confidence in your promises. As I seek your face, Lord, reveal more of yourself to me. Deepen my understanding of your word and empower me to live out its teachings. May my life be a testimony of your grace and mercy, shining as a light in this world that others may come to know you and experience the joy of salvation. Lord, thank you for the gift of today and for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me. Your grace sustains me and your mercy covers my shortcomings. I acknowledge my dependence on you, Lord, and I surrender my will to yours. Father, I lift up to you my loved ones, those near and dear to my heart. Protect them, guide them, and surround them with your peace. Draw them closer to you, that they may experience the depth of your love and the power of your salvation. I pray for our world, which is in desperate need of your healing touch and reconciling love. Bring peace where there is conflict, hope where there is despair, and light where there is darkness. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord Jesus, fill me afresh with your Holy Spirit. Grant me wisdom to discern your voice and courage to follow your leading. Help me to live a life that honours you, sharing your love and truth with those around me. Father, I surrender my fears, anxieties and uncertainties into your hands. You are my rock and my redeemer, my strength and my comforter. Help me to trust in your perfect timing and to rest in your unfailing love. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayers. May my life bring glory to your name and be a reflection of your grace and mercy to the world around me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Leave a like for this video and share it at least one time to help us reach more people. Spread the gospel and change more lives by comment using the word Amen. To further support the dissemination of this message, consider sharing this video with a friend or family member. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications to stay updated with more content that nourishes the soul and uplifts the spirit. See you at next video.